Wait, this looks just like my old house. Actually, I think it is my old house. Where I grew up. Huh. Can't go in this way. Hello? Is anybody home? Maybe I can get in through the backyard. Aiden, hey! Aiden, honestly, I didn't think it would be this easy to find you. Let's get out of here. Get out of here? Yeah. Exit the simulation or whatever this technically is. Is that door the way out? I can't say anything else like it, so I think it's our best bet. I'm working. On what? I need to bury something. I lost a couple things in the house, my hat and my coat. I won't be ready without them. Ready for what? Can you get that for me? Aiden, you're hurt, and I'm trying to help you wake up. You want to be helpful? Go get my phone. At least this door's unlocked. It's way too clean in here. That kitchen was always a mess. We spent all our time in there. And I definitely put a crack in that cupboard door with the baseball. <laughs> Lena always made my head look twice the size of my body. That picture, is that me? I haven't thought of this place in a long time. Mom sold it years ago. But Aiden's captured it like a time capsule. I spent so much time here rewriting words just trying to learn how to spell. Not that it helped. Phone's gotta be in here. Gotcha. All right, who's been calling Aiden? Nikki. Mom. Jesus, Aiden, you were supposed to be here hours ago. I can't keep making excuses for you, and honestly, Jax is smart enough not to buy any of them. If you were going to disappoint him, couldn't you have just said you weren't coming from the start, instead of getting his hopes up? Whatever, just... I took him home. We left. Here's your phone. Who was calling? Uh, Mom, actually. She didn't sound happy. Yeah, I don't blame her. Are you ready to leave with me now? I still need my hat and my coat. Aiden, I don't know how else to say this, but you got hurt, and you're in a coma right now. You need to wake up. I left them somewhere in this house. Can't remember why. You have to look around. Why won't you come with me? I told you, I've got to bury something. I'm not going anywhere until that's done. If I get you those things, will you leave with me? Yeah, sure. If you say so. What the hell? Is this still the house? <laughs> Lena? There's no way.
I'm back where I started. I better pick a different path. <laughs> Lena? Lena! My sister died when I was little. Is this some kind of sick joke? Jax, come on, you're it. Come to the and come find me. Is Aiden's mind doing this? He can't let this go, so she just... Oh, it's... Jacks. You can do that. This was the worst day of my life, and it seemed to last for a year. I know. It, um... It took me a long time to get over it, too. I'm not over it, and I don't want to be. She was my baby girl. You don't get over losing a piece of yourself like that. No, but maybe we can find a better way to remember her. This was all Aiden's fault. They were trying to kill him, but he wasn't the one who paid the ultimate price. I know you don't think that way anymore. We found a way to heal. But I guess Aiden hasn't. I found Aiden's cap.
got your cap, and you're leaving with me right now. Still need my coat. Fuck your coat. Fuck this. This literal mind game. You know what I saw in there, right? Is Lena just in there all the time? We need to get the fuck out of here, so let's go. I told you I need to finish this first. And what is this exactly? A grave? Your grave? You know, Mom and I had to find a way to live with what happened. But you've just been torturing yourself with it this whole time. I didn't come here so we could just lose you all over again. Jax. You have helped me so much more than you know. This is the way I'm leaving. And I can't do it without you. Aiden, please. I know you won't let me down. Where is this going to lead now? It looks like I'm going back to the house, but... Jesus, why is there all this blood? Whose blood is this? I can't go this way. I need to get up there. I walking into okay I need to find Aiden's code just focus on that crime scene. What the fuck happened in here? Jesus. Who the fuck are all these people? Fuck, I think they're all dead. Who? Is the killer still in here somewhere? Oh, shit, shit, shit. Aiden, stop! What are you doing here? Who are all these people? Did you do all this? What? He can't hear me. It's almost like he's frozen or... Stuck. Stuck doing the same thing over and over again. With all this blood on his hands. Hayden's trapped. I need to find a way to interrupt this. Enough! 
I need something from you, and it's not this guy dead. I need your coat. Help me? I'm back. This better work. I have your coat. Thanks. I didn't want to be buried in my skivvies, you know? Just for the occasion, as it were. So that's it? You're just giving up? I was Aiden Pierce. The Fox. For a long time. I have blood on my hands. Souls on my conscience that I can't ever set right. I'm tired. I'm ready to lay it all the rest. The only thing you know how to do is sacrifice yourself. But Mom doesn't need you to protect her anymore. I don't need you to protect me anymore. We just want you to be there. I've caused enough damage and hardship in my life, Jackson. This is a funeral. There's no getting around that. Yeah? So say goodbye to the Fox. Goodbye to Aiden Pierce the Vigilante. Bury that guy. But don't tell me that's all you are. Because you're my uncle, too. Aiden. Jackson. Where am I? Holy shit! You did it! <laughs> Very impressive. Some of the readings on the broker bridge were wholly unexpected. I don't know whether to punch you or kiss you on your stupid hologram mouth. Both? Jesus. All that I miss. Jackson. Your participation here today has awarded you an extension on the Larson Family Scholarship for another two years. Well done. But, as our business is concluded here today, gentlemen, I suggest you wrap things up and take your leave. Both. Definitely both. Thanks. You know. I know. 